hello I'm Rosina Plain and I've created a little tutorial here to show you the two um, main types of mosaic crochet. The basic principle of mosaic crochet is that you only actually use one colour at a time so although we've got here these patterns which look like there's lots of fiddly colour changes it's not like tapestry or intarsia crochet there's no changing within the rows you just do one row in one colour and then you change for the next row or if you're doing inset mosaic you actually do two rows in each colour but the basic principle is the same um, so I've created um, a couple of curls like this actually I've got my Letitia's holiday um, curl that I did in at the end of last year and also a new one out um, which these swatches are for which is the magic carpet which has been published in this part part one is published in issue 110 of simply crochet magazine so i just wanted to sort of um i've got two separate um tutorials for that the first one is for the inset mosaic part which is this so that is the one like i said you'll see there's no sort of edges you can see probably here where we've carried the colour up the side so there's no ends no ends to sort of worry about with that um, because you're using two two rows in each colour um, and you carry the unused colour up the side so if you look at the back you will see it's stripy and you may also be able to see if I just put my finger under there you've got um, chain spaces so that's how we've created the mosaic pattern there so I'll show you all about that in the in the sort of first main tutorial bit um, the other form of mosaic that Magic Carpet uses is what I call overlay mosaic. So here's the little swatch for that. And if you notice on this, we've got all these little ends because that's worked with just the right so shy side facing you all the time. And you cut the yarn at the end of every row. So you've got lots of edges. Now we deal with these edges really nicely with a beautiful envelope or double, double border at the at the end of the cow so you don't need to worry about those but this shows you the differences now one thing i do the, the reason for this little intro is to tell you about your gauge your tension or your gauge um i'm as guilty as anybody when it comes to making blankets for not normally bothering with a gauge swatch but it's really really important when you're mixing the two techniques because what tends to happen for most people they will actually crochet the um inset mosaic a little bit looser than the overlay so obviously if you could use the same hook throughout with that you would end up with an overlay swatch that was um, narrower than the inset so you'd get sort of wavy edges so this is why rather than carrying on when you make actually make the blanket you'll have pop the first pattern of part one and then you'll immediately carry on and do the next one but obviously I've had to do two so we can check now if you look at mine you will see hopefully there we are that they are actually the same width and that is because I use a smaller hook for the um, inset section okay so, so carry on and look at the next couple of videos which I say the first one will show you how to do the inset mosaic and the following one for the overlay mosaic and hopefully you'll really enjoy doing it as much as I do. And also, if you want to join, um, you can either join my Facebook group, Rosina Crochets, or indeed I have another Facebook group that I admin, and that is Mosaic Crochet World. So either of those would be very, you'd be very welcome to join us in either of those. And please do share your progress. And I hope you enjoy the magic carpet.